Welcome back to Bougie Bravo Bitches, where we talk all that Bravo tea from basic to bougie. We're your hosts. I'm Jenna. I'm Darcy. And I'm Amanda. Let's get into it, bitch. Hi, girls. Hey, mamas. Hello. We owe our um, our fans, all two of them, <laughs> an apology <laughs> for last week. We we had an awesome episode, and we were trying out some new software just to you know dip our toe into something else, and they lost our audio and we weren't able to recover it. So we had no episode and it was so good too. It was unhinged and it was fantastic. And that software was trash. Well, cause I'm going to edit it and I'm your audio, Jenna, 11 minutes of it. So I'm like, it's editing, so weird. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. And then all of a sudden you just stop talking and I'm like, what is going on? And it's just not there. Weird. Yeah. yeah. So weird. Not thrilled. No, so sorry guys. We've been gone for two weeks, but we really haven't. We were here in spirit. <laughs> um, guys, we're on like Bravo summer break. I don't even know what to do. Was I supposed to go on vacation or something? <laughs> There's like no TV whatsoever. There's three I mean, shows. No, yeah, now Summer House is gone and we literally only have Jersey, Dubai, and Below Deck Med. Three three solid shows, mm-hmm. you know. Nothing that I'm like, oh my god, I need to watch this immediately before I log into Instagram and find out what happens, but solid enough. Solid enough. We'll have OC back in two weeks, three weeks. Oh, I can't yeah. wait. That Eleven season looks July. so good. It looks so yeah. good. Mm-hmm. I'm pumped for that, actually. Yeah. You know how I feel about the last season, so I'm pumped for that. Um, not even really a lot of like Bravo news going on. I mean, we can go over a little bit like what we didn't get to talk about last week, which is <laughs> basically Andrea got married. We were in mourning over that last week in the morning. Um, Carl, Kyle, Jason Cameron, Chris Leone, Alex, Danielle, Lindsay, and Sam were all the summer house attendees at the wedding. It looked amazing. It looked so beautiful. Yeah, it looked. Her dress was gorgeous. I loved her dress. She had Mm -hmm. two, and they were both gorgeous. Okay, I think I only saw one then. There was one like at the after party that was really pretty too. It was like kind of similar, but like more lacy instead of like just straight like silk. Um. There was like the whole Atlanta drama, which there, so it continues on this week, but basically like Kenya had, what did she bring? Like poster boards of revenge porn, basically of Brittany Edie, who's like a newer cast member. And then there was rumors that Brittany had like threatened her with a gun or said like she, what did she say? I have a gun for bitches like you or something like that. So then we have, like, threatened gun violence. Um, But this week, Kenya actually was suspended from Atlanta pending investigation, and I think she's gone. That's what the streets are saying. I mean, what did she think was going to happen? I guarantee you she's going to get, like, in trouble with the law. You can't be posting nudie photos with... What was it? Aggressive dick Civilly, eating. Aggressively right. eating a dick. Like, that's wild. Yeah. You can't post that. You can't, like, display that in public. She's no. delusional, though. Okay. Like, she's one of those people that thinks that, like, rules do not apply to her. Okay. Right. So, right. like, you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. Mm-hmm. I kind of think I said, what did I, in our group chat, I was like, she's one of those ones that this was always going to happen to, and Mary mm-hmm. M. Cosby is next. Like, it was Ramona. Like, these people, like, they're always going to go one step too far. And, like, yeah. Brandy, like, these are people that are, like, good TV, but they're too unhinged. And it was always going to go one step too far. And Mary M. Cosby, mark my words, is next. She, yeah. will, she will be canceled next, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so I don't see her coming back. I guess we'll find out. Um, oh, I wanted to bring up, we had boots on the ground, people, boots on the boats. <laughs> Amanda, <laughs> Amanda sent us pictures from the Gorgas shore house. She was on a boat no outside one was of the there. Gorgas shore house. No one was there. And then. Which my- they were there though, because they were posting pictures from there later that day. Oh, so maybe they, I mean, I don't know what time we were out there. We were out there early. Maybe like it was 11 early. Or 12. It was like 11 yeah. or 12. We went out to lunch and. My, I lost my hat. My hat blew away, which is like I was yelling at my kids to your like, bougie bravo bitches hat. Yeah, I was yelling at my kids <laughs> to turn their hats around because they were gonna blow away, and then my hat went flying <laughs> off. Of course, it one did. way to do some marketing. <laughs> of course, it did. Maybe it'll like 
wash ashore at the Gorgo's house. Oh my god, you're gonna have to make a new hat. I know, I know. I said that. I was like, I'll have to ask somebody to give me a new hat. That's a bummer. Oh, but then I was at this baseball party for like my son's end of the year, um, like baseball. And I was talking to one of the other moms and she works in TV and production and stuff. And she's working on Gordon Ramsay's new show. And I forgot to ask if it's the Lisa Vanderpump show. And then mm. I. Must be, right? Or said, I think yeah. that, is that filmed already though? I thought yeah. it was. So I, yeah. But then she was saying she just filmed a commercial with Melissa Gorga. And I'm like, oh, how was she to work with? And she's like, she was so professional. She was so nice. And I'm like, she freaking would be professional and nice. She yeah. strikes me as someone who would keep it professional, but yeah. will like stab a knife through your back. Because well, she's such a tryhard. Like, I'm yeah. not shocked she that she's like, super mm-hmm. nice. Well, I mean, it's good. Though. I mean, it's better to be nice than an asshole, you know? Yeah. Well, sure. Of course. Nobody so, wants an asshole. That's the tea that I have. Oh, and Marge was at my friend's hospital for oh, a little God. charity. For a little, ch- <laughs> <laughs> for a little charity event. <laughs> Oh my god. What did I say? I had nothing nice to say about that. So she didn't say anything, people. She didn't say anything. Um, I saw a little mashup this week, guys. Um, Teresa was out to dinner with Meredith Marks and they were at Carriage House, which is Craig and Austin's restaurant that they are part owners of. So interesting. Crossovers. There's more coming out about why her and her why she like left the podcast with her podcast host. Her I guess her podcast host broke her silence. I don't really care what she has to say, so I didn't find out what she said. But she didn't say anything. She needs Re- to eat. like. She yeah, is. I was gonna she say. is an ill woman, and people keep saying. And she is like all she talked about on the podcast was how people always tell her like she has an eating disorder, and she really doesn't. And I'm like, mm, your arms are like literally the size of toothpicks i think something's wrong fair enough well there you have it just saying (laughs) well you can't trust a person who's actively unwell so good for you for getting out Teresa. um southern charm wrapped their filming season 10 they had a big party and yeah i'm excited to see that season some new people i don't really need taylor and green back but i guess i don't have a choice I will say I'm kind of pleased that there haven't been too many spoilers of like what has been going on. I feel filming. like probably nothing has yeah. been going on then. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> um, I also saw this weekend that Miss Pat and Whitney and Cameron were all at a wedding. Remember Cameron's like gay bestie? I think he got married and they were all at his wedding this weekend. And Whitney was dancing with Cam. <laughs> He's in love with her. I I think so too. I think so too. I I used to love her. I loved her on the Real World, San Diego too. That's where she got her start, people. <laughs> Guys, liven up! What the fuck? <laughs> I don't even respond. You're like, you, no one can hear your heads nod. You weirdos. <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, you weirdos. All right, let me okay. liven up. I'm a little exhausted. So. So you know how? Well, last week we talked about it, but we don't have that episode. But um. <laughs> Alexia was out with two T's and a twat and they went to the Janet Jackson concert with Alexis Bellino. <laughs> yes. Um, and Teddy's one fan sent us a message because I put a clown oh, on her face yes. in my picture. <laughs> yes. Well, anyways, Alexia was on their podcast and she said that her and Todd like are still having sex even though they're getting a divorce and now he won't speak to her at all because <laughs> she went on their podcast <laughs> and said that. I need to know less about everybody. Like yeah. between that, between Alexis Bellino saying that she has sex with oh Johnny my God, Day what four was times that? a day. Like no, no, I need to know no. less about everyone. We that all do. It's disgusting. disgusting. Too much. Disgusting. Some disgusting. things don't need to be said out loud, okay? Some things are meant for your own brain. That's what inside I've... thoughts, I yeah. like to call them. There we go. Inside thoughts. <laughs> Disgusting. Disgusting. Um, did you guys see this morning? Baby Gorgeous is I, 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 I don't know if she's actually being sued yet, but someone is claiming that she owes her ex partner is claiming that she owes him over four hundred K. And she went on and was like, This is disparaging and that's not true. And I she seems very good at business. I kind of like I believe her. It'll be interesting to see it play out. Yeah. Like I what? Think th- once every once someone's famous, everyone comes suckling at the teat, you know. So yeah. I kind of believe her. Agree. Uh, I guess we'll we'll have to wait and see. So we'll yeah. wait and see. It's a wait and see, people. 
And then the only other thing I saw was that apparently Kim Zolciak Bierman and Cynthia Bailey are teaming up for some Hulu show called Gotta Get Out. You know, what I, is this I, about? I, I, I don't like Cynthia. She's so boring. And that's all I have to say about that. And she actually, Kim posted a screenshot. Remember I was texting you guys this morning. I'm like, I hate the fact that I can't zoom in on Instagram, which is yep. a great that I have. And Kim posted a surreal life photo on her Instagram. And I tried to zoom in, which is what started my rant. And so that show should be coming. It it doesn't take much. So that show should be coming out soon. But I did see the Hulu thing, which I'm not interested in because Cynthia sucks. She's got great Mm -hmm. cheekbones. She really does. The concept is like part of it is like at any point in time, you can just leave with all the money. But like people in the house can stop you from leaving. I don't know. It sounds weird. I feel like every channel is now trying to do their own like mishmash of celebs with regular for reality shows because yeah. like traders did so well so they're like oh now let's do like house of villains yeah. and whatever the other one Kristen Doty's on and Jill Zarin go oh, did you guys see the thing that said Kristen Zo- Doty was asked to be on the bachelor but she declined because she was dating Tom Sandoval at the time talk about taking an L I, I did know. see that <laughs> I don't believe it but I saw oh, it okay <laughs> <laughs> I'm. She wanna. She was gonna be on The Bachelor. Come on. Someone wanted to see her on The Bachelor. I knew someone who was gonna be on The Bachelor up, but then it, COVID happened. So his- boring. Those seasons were boring of The Bachelor, Bachelorette, BT Dogs. The most recent Bachelor is the cousin of a girl I went to high school with, Joey. I don't watch The Bachelor, so. I watch it all, babes. Well, not anymore, <laughs> but I did. Now I have a baby and I can't watch anything. <laughs> um, anywho, that's really all I saw for news. Did you guys see anything else? I saw something and it really pissed me off is that Teresa was posting clickbait links. Oh, Darcy I can't do so it. I can't do that. it. Mm-mm. Yeah. I didn't see that. And what was it please, about? It was Please like... don't talk about my queen. Thank you. I just... <laughs> Get her in line. She needs money. Line. Oh, because Louie, uh, did you guys see? I, this was on like a real, you know. Someone, not, like, yeah. It one of her followers like sent me this. I'm like, did you see this about Louie? And I was like, yeah, that's not really like a credible source. Exactly. So. It said And no and one his, else posted it. When like Queens of Bravo or someone yeah. puts it up, then like. Him and his maybe. business partner. Oh, like, I don't even know. Some. <laughs> Well, there you have it. Um, we talked about the first half of the Summer House reunion last week, and it, I don't want to get into it again. I'm like, I really don't want to get into it again. You but don't? We, but we have to. We have to. <laughs> Amanda, what are your feelings? Uh, I have a lot to say. First no. of all, Shocking. how could you have more to say let than me, you've already let said? Let me say this. Andy <laughs> hates Lindsay, and I think it's yes. unfair. Yes, Andy hates Lindsay, it's and I It's unfair how he's like, Lindsay, you called him cocaine, Carl, and blah. But he's so, not wrong. Summer doesn't want to hear it. But why can't Summer, Summer me they, neither, Summer, me how neither. How many times has Summer already heard this? <laughs> Summer's <laughs> sick of hearing it. My thing is, is why hasn't... No, not that one. Hold on. She's hungry. Give me a moment. There we go. How about that one? She, why haven't we discussed Carl calling him or Kyle calling Amanda a bitch? I think that like that never I got know. asked. Like True. it's just a little bit unfair. You know, if it wasn't for Lindsay, there wouldn't be much to talk about. That's all I have to say about that. I don't disagree sure. with any of that. Yeah. 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 Well, there you have it. Doesn't mean you she's guys- likable. I no. believe I think Andy's right for disliking her. Oh, he hates her. He can't. yeah. You know what? Because she's mean to fans. That's yeah, why. That's what mm-hmm. I heard she's, too. So. She gives Bravo a bad name. Yeah, she's rude. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I never met her. So consider yourself lucky. Yeah, she wasn't nice. Remember, she was like shoved us along and was like, "They're not giving me a space to take photos." I'm like, "Okay, well, maybe you're not as popular as you think." <laughs> <laughs> We were in a Bravo Palooza. Like they don't give you like there's the one step and repeat, and it's just like whoever's the most popular Remember at the time we gets to the, go to the step and repeat. When we were in the Bravo Palooza, and Pat just like took it over. Miss Pat yeah. just took it over from uh, 
Whitney and, Lisa and Lisa Barlow. From, yeah. I love from, that. She just, like, yeah. she was like, the lighting sucks over here. We're going over here. And she just, it was over. The step and repeat was like Sonia and Heather Gay and Meredith mm-hmm. Marks and Angie. It was like the Salt Lake people again yeah. because Salt Lake was hot right then. Yeah. So sorry, Lindsay, you weren't in school. Just there now. you have it. There you have it. Sorry, bit. I won't go on because <laughs> you guys don't want to Thank you for not it. going on. I appreciate you. I mean, the bottom line is nobody likes Lindsay. Also, I just, the fact that like everyone on the cast seemed to be more like Team Carl just leads me to believe that there's more that we don't know that was like said or done or whatever. Mm-hmm. Her talking about the doing mushrooms with him, like the weekend before they started filming. Yeah. Like, Everybody's Why? on you about calling him Cocaine Carl. Like she's not getting it. She's very tone deaf to like the sobriety issue that she is creating mm-hmm. for herself. She's not getting it. Amanda, you're showing restraint, and I am. Did you I know. mute yourself? Are you wearing a muscle? No, I just don't want to get into it because you guys are never going to see my opinion, so it doesn't matter. It's well, fine. It's okay. We can agree to disagree. Yeah, this we is do. A, this is a democracy. You know? <laughs> Um, did you guys think the end episode ended just like super abruptly? Yeah. Yeah. And then like we cut Kyle's mullet off. And then it was like, okay, bye. Yeah. And it was, it like, was very much was like a, it was a takedown of Lindsay for whatever reason they thought they needed to take her down. And I mean, she'll be back though. Cause she needs Absolutely. money for that yeah. big old apartment. That's what this season should be interesting because she has a boyfriend if they start filming, which usually they start like July 4th weekend. So I guess we'll uh-huh. have to see. Yeah. Who's filming and who's not? And imagine yeah. Carl's going to come back too. I mean, they need well, the no money. Let's quickly. be honest. Both of them need the money. They don't have other career prospects outside of influencing. Is that your companion? That one's mine. <laughs> Why are you crying, buddy? No, I think, honestly, cast wise, keep everybody the same except Danielle. Get rid of her. She's she does nothing lunatic. for me. I do not want to see her ass again. And balloon guy Joe. <laughs> I think Gabby can go too. She's a bore. Bye. Yeah. I think they should have kept Sam and gotten rid of Gabby. Like mm-hmm. boring. It'd be like more fun if they kept Sam. But maybe because Sam was in a relationship and they didn't want to bring back Corey, they were like, no. Yeah. Yeah. yeah fair. Well, yeah. Because they didn't. I'm like, I can't. They filmed this like literally like almost a whole year ago. It's so hard to like keep up. But you're right. She yeah. was dating Corey then. Bravo's really She was start. there too, and she never got even got like on an episode, and she was in the Hamptons mm. uh, like multiple times. She oh, must have like crazy. pissed them off or something. I think she kind of thought she was more famous than she was, maybe. I mean, you know how many times I heard the picture story from her about Corey sending her a picture every single day? At least Ugh. eight to ten different times. Oh. Boring. Yeah, maybe they were like, we just don't need another couple. We don't want this to become yeah, a couple's house. Exactly. <laughs> Probably so. Probably so. Well, the season's over. It'll be interesting to see what happens. I feel like there's always boots on the ground in the Hamptons, so mm-hmm. we'll know pretty quickly like who's filming and who's not. You Thank know? God. Yeah. Um, let's move over to Jersey. What do you know? What do you say? It's a good it's good this season. It's way better than last season. And like yeah. even with the divide of like people just not interacting, it's still good. It's good. It's a classic. Mm -hmm. The fact that they had a party at Joe and Melissa's house, the entire party surrounded by Teresa when Teresa wasn't even there was so funny to me because these people can't stand Teresa and they're trying to exploit her. And the entire show is about Teresa. Mm -hmm. I wanted to like so bad make this like meme, but I feel like I try to be more um, like, I try to be unbiased. For, yeah, unbiased. in our posts. Yeah. But literally, Melissa goes, Did you tell to Rachel Buddha, did you tell everyone about your conversation? And then after like they all get into it, then she goes, I mean, I just want you guys to have fun at the party and like not talk about this. I'm like, You're the one that brought it up, bitch. Yeah, well, you are literally thing, the one that brought the it up. First thing that happened, uh, Rachel walked in, she's like, Melissa, I gotta tell you about my I gotta tell you what happened. And right. then they go into like a 20 minute spiel, and I'm like, Dope. And then the blue label. Yeah. And then uh-huh. yeah. Dola with bringing in the blue label was like my favorite part of the whole episode, honestly. <laughs> it's like it's the so same. Funny. Oh my god. And then Joe with his freaking uh what oh, do they call little it? bitch boy. No, what do they call it when you like say um um 
Like you're talking, you're acting, and it's all about uh, yourself. It starts with an M. Your monologue. Joe with his oh. monologue. <laughs> and to end it, throwing the card in the fire pit. I know. Like, are you so, so He practiced that shit in the mirror. Don't get it twisted. Absolutely. I agree. Some other eagle-eyed viewers pointed out that the card that was at the restaurant where Teresa handed off the blue label and the card envelope yeah, that Joe threw color. in the fire, different colors. Yeah, one was white and one was purple, I think. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, I noticed that. I noticed interesting that. little tidbit. I think that it could have been a nice little olive branch, and then so he throws it into the fire, which I'm sure that got back to her. And then she went on saying, like, whatever. It was Louis that wanted to bring it, but I bet you it wasn't. And I'm sure like there was a nice heartfelt message in there. But then once he threw it in the fire, she changed her tune. And then everyone will say like she's an asshole for like doing it or whatever but it's like she can do no right she extends an olive branch and like she can still like get shit on mm-hmm. he should have just Wait. been like thank you i don't want to discuss it that's it if they that's don't all. really want to discuss well, it but then what not... would they discuss exactly that's <laughs> also, they have a show. They really are so boring melissa and joe are so boring if they so i cannot boring. sit through another italian themed party i know listen I can't. Uh, my whole life is an italian themed party and i don't want to see one more fucking cured meat on a skewer for the rest of my life okay <laughs> My whole life is literally focaccia, and I don't want to see any more focaccia messages from these fucking people. Oh my god, it's like when Joe and I went to Italy. Like, oh, congratulations! Are you the first person to ever go to the Amalfi Coast, dumbass? I was literally there at the same time, and you people didn't fucking answer me ever. I was in their hotel, and they didn't answer me. That's a little stalkerish. I was there for dinner. You were outside of their house. Yeah, I don't know, but the ocean. I just drove by. I didn't go to like their fucking driveway. But you would have. Neither did I. And you went to Food of Tile, you stalker. I also didn't go to Food of Tile. I was across the highway at the liquor store. So you keep Again. your even creepier. like a smart yeah. stalker. That's even creepier, honestly. What, that I was at the <laughs> liquor store? I think you should go in and just shop. For tile. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking of redoing a bathroom. What do you I'll think? I'll say I need to buy tile from you so that John could get money to fix his teeth. Oh, God. Guys, I can't I don't know if I would lead teeth. with that. Wait, I can't someone, with his teeth. Did, like, you, did you guys see the meme today where it was like, the only thing that could have made the meeting better is if Teresa would have asked uh, John Fugazi to pull her car around after her. <laughs> <laughs> uh, someone like on Reddit was like, is he really... Uh, a, a parking attendant. I'm like, no, he owns a ballet company. Like That's he has so like funny. 300 employees. Like he does good business. But I think the fact that she calls him a parking attendant is it's so fucking so funny. funny. It's so it's funny. Better than a drug dealer. Yeah, maybe drug I dealer would it. be better. I love it. Oh my God. Okay. We need to talk about the live texting of it all. Oh and I know God. Darcy, I'm sure has some opinions about this. I think there was nothing more pathetic and also funny than Marge live texting. But the only thing more pathetic and funny is Joe Benigno being the one to be like, Dolo, look at your phone. I mean, that's really He is a real little rich boy, if we're being honest. It's so fucked up that, like, she said this about Dolores and Marge was keeping it and never told Dolores. Like, like, um... I forget her name, guys. I'm so tired. What's her name? Jackie. Jackie. Like Jackie said, Marge talks a bunch of shit, but she doesn't put it in writing. I'm like, well, that's Which fucking smart. smart. I know. What is that's our queen? Dola's like, she's smarter than you, Jackie. I guess. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what does our queen say? Say it. Forget say it, it. Forget write it. it. Write it. Write it. Write it. Write it. it. Yeah. Well, was it last season or the season before? Where it was all about Marge and her arsenal. Yeah. Case in fucking point. Marge right. just like collects, 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 and then wait until the time is right, and it benefits mm-hmm. her. She had that shit queued up, ready to fucking. Yeah, I she- you know. She was like, "Don't hug my husband. Don't hug my fucking husband. We're and not talking to her, Joe." Jackie was <laughs> wasted too, which is kind of I know. Funny. yeah. <laughs> she was hugging him a little hard. Oh it was my like god, funny. it was like. That's kind of like bitchy. She's like, I love you. It's kind of bitchy to go up to someone you have like been in a fight with to like their husband. Like if I was Marge, I would be pissed. It's a little boundary crossing, but I think it's funny. Listen, Jackie knows what time it is. She does not want that friend of status. Like she came into play. She Mm -hmm. knows what time it is for real. She came to work and I appreciate it. Working for her meatball. Uh, Yeah, I I do think she called her a slob and I hate her. It's an aggressive response yeah. to not being tagged in an instagram photo i have Slug. to say 
it's a little over the top. It's a little aggressive. Just a little. A missed for the per- coming from the person who says "Welcome back, scumbag." <laughs> You know what I found so I find so funny is that they're constantly fighting over Instagram. Like that shit is so funny to mm-hmm. me. Like it's, it's annoying so that like so much happens in like in the meta world that like we don't know about. It's yeah. just or like that we're that is it's just too much going on in like the DMs. It's frustrating. Yeah. That's like They should Jersey's- like not be allowed to talk about that stuff, but then what the fuck would they talk about, I guess? Yeah. Jersey really is one of the shows where a lot of the drama happens off screen and we're all just trying yeah. to figure out what the well, fuck is going on. You know why though? Because they're all actually friends. That's mm-hmm. why. Where a lot of these other like ensemble casts, they're not real friends. Like you think anyone on Beverly Hills really hangs out with each other outside of a photo op? No. So there's they don't have any of that stuff to talk about because they're not real friends. Yeah. I'd say my favorite part of the episode was Dolores putting oh. on her reading glasses saying, I got to check in on the dog. No. And then being Mine like, was Jen, Jen Aiden looking over her shoulder. <laughs> I mean, Wait, no. Actually, Jen Aiden saying, this is the first time Joe Gorga was taller than me, but yes. it's good to aspire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was funny. Also, I the whole like – part with um Teresa's stepson was really sweet with the mm-hmm. hair with the barber that came to the house well and then cute. you like contrast that with Rachel and I feel like Teresa and Rachel could have a lot of common ground with one another but then Rachel immediately goes into talking shit about Teresa like you're having a family segment why are you like I didn't like it I don't like oh who? All. yeah well John Fugazi is like fucking wh- how much is where's his fucking what do they hold Meatball? in Jersey? Meatballs? Yeah, where they don't hold fucking... anything. Oh, well. oh my god, he's so annoying. I fucking hate him, guys. I he's he's on Carl. He's your Marge. He, he's well, him and Carl are fucking neck and neck right now. I'm actually wow. over Carl. Carl because the season's over, so I'm just like over it. But yeah, John <laughs> Fugazi, top notch douchebag. I like. I cannot look at. I just can't even like look at him anymore. It just grosses me out. His mouth really so upsets gross. me. It really upsets me. The veneers are just so bad, and people go so big with them. Why does his mm. mouth? What is? It's so bad, John. It's the so bad. It's. I can't also can't talk. look at Rachel's nose. It's just like a fucking ski slope. That <laughs> like, I can't look at it. It's bad. John Aiden was very right about that nose. Bad, bad, bad. Mm-hmm. We sh- there needs to be an account Rachel's old nose and bring it back. <laughs> Do you guys follow Melissa's old nose? I so funny. Unhinged. So Unhinged. funny. I love Melissa's old nose. <laughs> uh, anything else on Ron J? Classic, I think. Very good. good stuff. Um, Below Deck Med, also good. I'm, I'm enjoying mm-hmm. the season, to be honest. Um, so we ended last week where I was like, oh my God, it's episode two and this girl's already cheating on her boyfriend. But no, she got cock blocked by the cameras, which I think was fucking hysterical. She's like, uh, I'm just getting water. I'm not, I don't need a mic. I'm not going to talk to anybody. And she like and turns like, around and goes sh- to bed. You sure? <laughs> so funny. It's almost like they were like, mm, we'll do you a solid and prevent you from cheating on your boyfriend this one time. Mm-hmm. But how's she gonna explain that to him i mean they're gonna break they're probably not together by now yeah yeah she didn't cheat yet but i'm sure she will she will i'm sure she already has episode four yeah (laughs) probably so probably so um the paddle border that like goes missing at sea (laughs) i'm like i would die a of all b of all like definitely was the bosun's fault why does he think he didn't have anything to do with that well and the whole thing like when everybody from the group is like, oh, we're so-and-so, they were on the paddle boards. He's like, all right, pull everything in and goes upstairs. It's like, people are telling you that someone from their group is missing and you are not concerned at all. I was like, why didn't somebody hop on a jet ski and go fucking look for them? Like, that's, I was like, what? I mean, yes. There's like, like, I feel like there's hundreds of meters of, like, water. Like, if you can't see them, where the, they could be anywhere. I don't know, but then they, showed up, then they showed up on a catamaran. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which looked like fun. Uh, could have been a disaster could have been a disaster but it wasn't well chefie's definitely like dropping the ball already food wise um sponge cake and chicken no what is this carnival cruise i think (laughs) 
honestly, he got cast because he hasn't worked in a restaurant and has no formal training, mm, and for it means sure. for good TV, but he's not going to be around much longer. Yeah. No, and when they're used to, ra- like, sh- Rachel is, like, a good chef. She's a wackadoo, but she's a very good yeah. chef. And if you've had Rachel, none of these other chefs really compare, I don't mm-hmm. think. I mean, no one. Like, Mira Glaze Dave, no. Like, who else? Uh, ben, <laughs> Chef Ben. Chef Ben's decent. Yeah, I, I think Rachel's better than Chef Ben. Okay. But what do I know? Remember, they're also like a Chef different Leon time with the beef cheeks. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Remember Kiko that made like the cheese on chips for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when they had the random like stew or boat? Uh, I don't even know, but she made like spaghetti and meatballs. Yes. Yes. Oh, what one was that? When like the chef quit. Yeah. Yeah. And she was the chef. And Sandy let her be the chef for like two or three charters. And she made fucking spaghetti and meatballs. Can you imagine? My husband would fucking throw the chef overboard. (laughs) If he showed up and they made him spaghetti and meatballs, oh, he would be so pissed. I mean, I would have left both of these charters. The first one had no provisions whatsoever. And the second one, you're serving me chicken and sponge cake. Goodbye. I'm losing my guests. I literally could go on Royal Caribbean if I wanted this. I don't think he's going to be around long. No, no. Um, There's some romance heating up between Joe and I believe Joe and Brie, but then Ellie likes him. But I don't think he likes her. I think he likes Brie. And like next week, there's like an argument over like Ellie staked dibs on Joe and Brie's going for him. Brie said you can't call dibs. She did. She also said she'd suck his dick. So I guess, yeah, you know, there you have it. (laughs) I mean, really putting it all out there. Well, you know, I show think it's him what funny. you got. His name is Joe Bradley. I know. And he knows that. Wait, did you ever hear the story? The other Joe Bradley from Southern Hospitality. Did you know this? So he, they met each other like years ago, way before this Joe Bradley, like was ever cast on anything. And mm-hmm. now they're like, they're friends and they're two Joe Bradleys on Bravo. I love that. Funny. Small world. Serendipitous. Getting smaller. <laughs> Um, I'm liking it so far. I think it's good. I think Med really needed to like step it up a notch after mm-hmm. the last season was so boring. It was like painful. Yeah, last oh, season side was note, bad. I last week I messaged Daisy to ask like if we're ever, if the, we're ever gonna get that season. But then I saw literally the next day. Remember her sister Bonnie? She was on a few episodes because mm-hmm. she came to visit. Apparently she was on holiday. She was on a moped without a helmet. She got in a wreck and she has oh. had like a million surgery like brain surgeries she's like really like oh god not wear a helmet wear a helmet it was like where she was like i'm posting this because like just to be like a an advocate for wearing a helmet and having insurance like don't go on a a, like a motor vehicle without your own insurance blah Mm -hmm. blah blah and she's i think she moved out of the icu and she's in like a regular room now but i did not get an answer back and i'm not gonna reach out again yeah (laughs) Oh, maybe terrible. I could ask Gary oh, I bet I could ask Glenn I bet Glenn would answer he's usually responsive <laughs> I love that you just talk to everybody well you gotta shoot your shot you know you do what's it. the worst you that can happen well. they don't answer true yeah um let's talk about Dubai I'm so liking good. Dubai I like Dubai, it Dubai to me reminds me of early season housewives where it's yeah. just like an uninvited to a party glamorous stupid fights about yeah. things that are just inconsequential it a is party for housewives a ridiculous reason like a get the fuck out of my house party Caroline <laughs> it's, funny. it's doing it daughter making fun of Sergio the whole party and Caroline has to tell her to stop it's so that funny it is funny me. oh my god that sad little puppy Sergio he was like crying oh my like, god really Sergio sad. after she saw her therapist I was really sad I know he was really <laughs> upset he I just know. loves his woman She's so like, whatever. She's like, I'm done with this. She was like, it was I, cute in the beginning, and now I feel like she's like over it. She's getting the ick. I want more Michael because he was really funny on Ladies of London, yeah. and I want more of him. It's so funny. Every time Dubai is on, then Ladies of London is always like a, you should watch this on Peacock. Yeah. <laughs> it's always like in the top <laughs> line. I don't know. It's a little morbid. That. You should watch it. The, the, there's a girl from the first season that is no longer with us gotcha she, i think she uh killed herself no i don't oh. think she killed or herself. overdosed mm, i think she's just the sickly 
I think it was the heart attack or yeah. I, I, yeah. Oh, I was gonna say from like anorexia, but you know, I don't. I have to look it up. I think it was something related to like drugs. Not, but she, remember, she was like Alexander McQueen's yeah. friend. He killed himself, and mm, she like yeah. never recovered after that. Hmm. Anyways, you really should watch. It's only three seasons. Oh, it's, like, it's a good little ditty. Um, so Caroline uninvites Caroline Brooks to Love the party, it. which I think is hysterical. And I would too. Like, you can't call me a cunt and come to my party. Yeah. Sorry. That's going to be like a hard line for me. Okay. Yeah. We got a first interaction with the friend of Saba. She doesn't even have a like, Instagram. I couldn't find her anyway. Um, I didn't, I don't have much of an opinion because we didn't get much from her, but she is going to make more appearances. She goes on like their cast trip. I think she's like pretty. That. Very pretty. pretty. Yeah. So she's Sarah's friend, which kind of makes me judge her a little bit. Uh, I I don't really care for Sarah. Sarah just is like one of these things is not like the other. Like she doesn't make sense in this group of women. But almost like I think she does and she just tries so hard to be different. She's just But if she was just herself, she would be very much just like all these women. Her on that date with like, ooh, strike two, you don't believe in alien. Strike three, you're a Libra. No and I was just like, I I cannot, I cannot. Yeah. No. The date was uncomfortable. I don't even know why she went. She didn't even want to date him. To film. Yeah, and there, point. and there we have it. <laughs> well, the Carolines meet up, and Caroline Brooks was 26 minutes late. They love to do a how many minutes late are you? Mm-hmm. Did you see, like, the Bravo posting where it was, like, um, Jessel showing up late yeah. and Dorit showing – was it Dorit? Or, yeah, Dorit was and Teddy. Teddy. Yeah, showing up late. <laughs> they love ladies who are late to lunch. I think it's so funny. I'm like, 26 <laughs> minutes, like, that's not really that bad. I mean, I'm never late – really for anything but like 26 minutes it's not like she waited like an hour yeah i wouldn't wait that long though i mean not filming, for an interaction i to. didn't want to have anyway you have to but wait yeah. you're filming you're working well, they're not gonna let you leave i mean you could mm. but yes I don't know. You could, but I don't think they would allow it. I no. You guys the base bumper is back. The base bumper oh, is back. Oh god. Put a system in the base <laughs> bumper. Do you hear this? I, I do. do. Hear this? I can Hello? hear it. Just My dogs are like cords. concerned. It's like, get a life, bro. You live in a cul-de-sac. Fucking stop it. <laughs> I cannot. This is my, se- like my my second first world problem of the day. My first first world problem of the day was that my pool pump broke and I need to get it fixed or I can't go swimming. Ugh. Yeah. Real first world problems over here. It's hot. It, is hot. Cool. it was 100 oh. in Jersey today. Mm-hmm. Ew, I heard it's like disgustingly hot up near you guys it's, yeah, it's hot the air it's worse is just up there thick like when you breathe it's it just like heavy smacks you in the face when you walk outside you're like, mm-hmm. the heat up there is very different than the heat down here like you expect it here and it's like humid and every place has like ac bumping but yeah. you guys don't really have that you got your like little window units you know you got central air here baby Ooh, bougie bougie with your central air <laughs> I have central air on the first floor, not on the second floor. We always had it in my house growing up. I never knew that it like wasn't a thing until I went to like college and they're like, here's your AC unit for your window. I'm like, what? (laughs) (laughs) What is that? (laughs) What does that do? (laughs) What do I do with that per se? Yeah. Anything else on Dubai or Bravo? There's like, it's such a summer vacay. Yeah. It's weird. People are on vacation, so there's not a lot of news. I know. Shows it's are so on weird. vacation. I think Paige and Craig are in Italy right now. They are. Mm-hmm. Paige always yeah. goes with her family, and then Craig, like, tags along. Yeah. I love that she for him. She was there last summer, too. How adorbs. Adorbs. Well, guys, what are you doing this weekend? Yard work. We're so glad you say that every week. We're clearing out all this ivy. We cut down bushes and pulled them out from the front of the house. So now we're still working on the backyard. Oh. We're supposed to have a block party, but it's supposed to rain. So I don't know if it's going to happen. Mm. Mm-hmm. I have jury duty tomorrow. That's wow. fun. I have what jury duty tomorrow, too. Do you? Uh, you? No, she's watching that stupid oh. show. Oh. I mean... <laughs> I'm in court him. regularly all day. Okay. I have my AirPod on and I'm like listening to it. You guys, I 
Do you want me to go on a tangent? Because I could no, go that's on. Another podcast. Uh, yes. That's another podcast. I will just say, if you guys are not following the Karen Reed trial, it is the craziest trial I think I've ever watched. Besides the Johnny Depp would, one, that one was a different fucking beast. But this one is like, just shows how corrupt the system could be. So that's all I have to say. I'm so distracted by the block party on my call to sack right now. This <laughs> fucking lunatic loser across the street. Wow. Also, if my neighbor's listening, I don't really care. She could be, but um, she's having an open house and I'm going to go to it. Of Just course to you peek are. around. Yeah. So I already looked at the pictures on Zillow, but now I got to go like look at it in real life also. Mm. You are so funny. Well, we have some play dates and some family visits. Mm-hmm. Nice. So How was fun. music class? Oh, music class is so cute. Romeo loves music class. He's love that. the youngest baby there. But I think that for anyone that thinks that your newborn is like too young to go do something, like he is so engaged in this class and like he can't do any of the stuff that like the other babies can do. But he, I can tell it like means something to him. It's amazing. <laughs> like he's, in, he, he's enjoying it. And he's so good oh, after. I love that for you. And he always does a huge poop after. Oh, wow. I love music. that. <laughs> brings it right out of him yeah well guys i if we didn't bore you to tears this episode <laughs> check us out next week god i wish we got you that episode last week i know Maybe we could re- find the audio and just upload it as you this. can just hear 11 yeah. minutes of you and then me and amanda i kind of want to know about- what that sounds like who if you're not answering me <laughs> insane insane Oh my gosh. Well, guys, if you like what you heard here, follow us on Spotify or wherever you get your podcasts. You can follow us on our socials. We're on Instagram at Bougie Bravo Bitches, on Threads at Bougie Bravo Bitches, on TikTok at Bougie Bravo Bitches, on Twitter at Bougie Bravo Bees. We have a Facebook group. We also have a YouTube channel. That's it, bitch.